Troops TV, presented by Barstool Sports, uh, Crystal Palace 1, Arsenal 3. We're on to the player rating segment. Let's start with the man in gates, uh, Bernd Leno. I gave him a 6. Apart from the goal, I think his handling was on point today. Can't hate on it. Every time I was like, raw, this guy's catching everything, blood. You understand? So, you get me? I give Leno a six today, blood. All right, on to on to right back, Callum Chambers. Chambers, I give a seven, maybe a six. Yeah, I give him a six. You understand? Even with the balls that he was whipping in. Yeah. Nah, seven still. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, because you know <laughs> what? Yeah, I, the way yeah seven. Quality, bro. Yeah, seven for Callum because the way he whips them, yeah, yeah. he's got great empire, mm -hmm. blood, and he was whipping them in for Aubameyang in the first half, mm -hmm. one after the other, blood, and. The defenders were just getting to it before Abba, blood. You get me? But Callum, another another good game from him at right back, blood. You get me? Another sturdy game. Seven for Callum. All right. Uh, on to the centre backs. Uh, let's start with Gabriel. Hmm. Gabriel, I'll give a six. I think he could have done better on the goal. You understand? Because he's been attracted to the ball. He hasn't paid attention to Benteke's run or anything like that. So because of the Goal involvement, or should I say, like the goal involvement against us. Gabriel gets a six. Uh, on to Rob Holding. Holding, I give a seven. Uh, I think he was uh, the more composed uh, defender today. Um, Jack Mack pointed out that since he's kind of sorted out his hair, his performances yeah. have kind of improved <laughs> as well, blood. Yeah, get me. But um, another good performance from Rob today. Seven. Uh, and then on to uh, Tierney on, uh, on the left. Tierney I, give a, Tierney, I give a seven as well. But a high seven. You understand? His involvement for the first goal. He was causing problems the whole game, blood. You understand? Down that left-hand side. Let me big up Kieran. Danny. Seven for Kieran. On to the midfield pivots. Let's start with uh, Thomas. Partey, I give a six. You get me? I think he done a lot better today. But I think only done a bit better than him. You get me? But um, you can see what he brings to the midfield. And hopefully, we've seen glimpses of what he is. And hopefully, next season, we see the real party. You get me? But six for today. As you alluded to, uh, Mo Alneni was his partner today. Alneni, I give a seven. He's been putting in some great performances of late. Every time he goes in, he does what he has to do. You understand? <coughs> the one thing with Alneni is you will always get 100% out of him. You get me? And... I love how he defended Saka when Saka got licked down by Benteke yeah. and he went straight in, blood. You get me? Like, Obviously, Ramadan has finished, blood. Eid Mubarak, he's, fam. So yeah. he's back on he's his team, blood. Now. Yeah, me. He, he was on his dean, blood. Uh. You understand? He was on his dean. But now he can do what he wants. Do what he wants. You know, he was ready to ross up Benteke, you know, dog. <laughs> but um, yeah, I give out nearly a seven, blood. All right. So that's the pivots. Let's do the three behind the striker. Let's start with uh, Bukayo Saka. Saka I give a seven as well. Um, great bit of play to get in Tierney. Lovely little one-two between the pair. Lovely back heel. You get me? He looks a bit tired though. You understand? You could, maybe that's why Arteta brought him off. You get me? But um, another good performance from Bakayo on that left-hand side. And you get me? He's putting in them performances now. Why? Because he's on the left. Mm -hmm. When he was on the right, he was kind of... get me? I told you, he was going to the byline and cutting back. Here... He can link up the play with Tierney. He can whip balls in. He can drift in from the left. He's, he's, more, he's, more, he's more accustomed to that side. You get me? So uh, we'll give uh, Saka a seven. Uh, right through the middle was Emil Smith-Rowe. Emil, I will give a seven as well. It's a lot of sevens today, blood. You understand? Emil, he just kept the ball moving. You get me? He always gives 100%. You understand? I like Emil, blood. You get me? I've... Me. I'd, uh, maybe we do need another attacking midfielder because of his age. And obviously, he's had a bit of injury problems. For me, it's that. That's the key one. So, we would, I do think we should go out and get another number 10 or look at one. But, yeah, man, another good performance from a mill. Seven. Um, uh, then uh, the, my man on the right, uh, Nicholas Pepe. Well, your man on the right, I, I should say, Nicholas Pepe. <laughs> Pepe, I give a nine. Two goals. Took his goals tremendously well. The first one, right foot. Volley, you understand, just open his body. Boop! Second goal, doing what Pepe does, taking souls. You get me? And 
he gave us that comfortability because at 2-1, there was still, you get me, time in, time to go. You get me, there's going to be stoppage time. Palace might start playing the long ball. That 3-1 just kills it. Kills momentum, kills everything, blood. You get me? And yeah, for me, Nico Ross, Clark Pepe gets a nine, blood. You understand? I want to big up Pepe. You get me? And stood by you. I criticise when it's needed, but I never turn against you like certain man. Zar didn't turn against him. Zar nearly turned against. No, no, I criticise. But he did. Cri- but you criticise yeah. stupidly at certain times. For me, in my opinion, but that is your opinion. But for me, man of the match today, Nico Ross, Clark Pepe, nine. Uh, then up front, uh, Obama. Obama, I give a six. You get me. Um, wasn't his best performance, but he kept trying. He kept going, which I appreciated. Good pressing as well. You get me. He was pressing as well, which was good to see. But. You get me? If you don't really assist or score, you don't really do nothing, if we be honest, because he's that kind of striker. You get me? He's not like a lacquer. But, yeah, um, yeah. Six. <laughs> yeah, six for Abba today. Then off the bench, let's start with uh, Martin Odegaard. Eight. Great assist for uh, the goal to put us back in the lead. Uh, the ball for Martinelli. Um, he, was, he was sent on to do a job. And he did his job, blood. You understand? Mm-hmm. He was sent on to create the goal, and he did that, blood. Eight for Odegaard. And then, as you alluded to, Gabriel Martinelli he came off the bench too. Eight for Martinelli as well, blood. He was sent on with a job to do, get that goal, and he got that goal, blood. You understand? Yet again, making impact. You understand? Whether he starts or comes off the bench, this kid makes an impact, blood. He has to start against Brighton on Sunday. Because I don't know what else he has to do to start now, blood. Because every time he goes in, he's doing the right things. He's making the right noise. So Arteta, just give in now, blood. Give Saka a rest. Yeah, me. Give Saka the day off in a stand and put Martinelli in, blood. And then last off the bench, Granite Chaka. Didn't really see Chaka really do anything, to be honest. But whipped, whipped a few good balls across the pitch. Stand of five. Uh, right on to the referee. Hmm. Referee, I give a two. You get me? Not really much to say about the ref today. You understand? The VAR decisions were the correct ones. Um, the Benteke goal should have stood, and it did. And there was those two ankle, it was the ankle stomp. And yeah, the one with, um, stomp, I think it was the, who was the, which look? The only the one. Was on cha- chambers on Schlup. The only the, one was um, the elbow. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, yeah from yep, Benteke yep. to yep. Elneny. That's why the ref will get a two today. And then last but not least, Arteta. Arteta, I'll give a seven. You understand? He got the win. Uh, we go into Sunday's game in contention for European football. And we need that. You get me? If we're going to attract certain players to get us back competing and back where we need to be, we need European football. You get me? More money as well, even though Kroenke will probably not spend it, the pussy all, but you get me? Every little helps. You understand? But seven for Arteta today. All right. Well, that's the player ratings from uh, the Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. On to the last game of the season, Brighton. See you there. (laughs) 